Hi there, it's Patmos, and nice of you to join me for another episode with our Ostriff game. And well, let's get going. I'll give you a little overview because we have some problems. We don't have firewood and we don't have wood anymore. And how come? Well, we have a forestry here, enough trees there, but we planted a farm field here and now they're clearing out all the trees in there, 26 left, so they have to do a lot of walking, which is a big problem. So I'll get time rolling. And as part of the solution, we are starting with another forestry. But what I'm going to do is the following thing. I'm going to pause all constructions and only continue the forestry. Check this, nothing to do there, so that's fine. And that means that no more firewood goes to any of these production buildings at the moment. So all the wood and trees that we chop can now be turned into firewood and other things we need. We also emptied out a few of our charcoal pits or piles and what I'm going to do is I'm going to demolish two of them. I'm going to keep two next to this smithy and I'm going to do new ones, two new ones next to this smithy so they don't have to walk that far. But for now, alright, I'm going to empty this one out as well replace the other two we already had because I want them next to the uh, smithy. So I'm just going to build this one right here. This one right there. Build one right here. And one right there. Alright, that's better. Can demolish this two now as well. Now these are all active, but that's okay. We do have a little bit of firewood now. That's good means people should be able to... Um, oh, this storage is full. No, it's not. These are full. Yeah, and the market stall. Well, that's fine. Oh, they have a lot of firewood there to sell. So everyone can get firewood now, which they are. Already 500 reserved. And I do believe people buy like... Oh, they bought 500. Well, they did a good job. So at least people now have firewood. And now this one's done. Let's get the people in there. And that should help us out. Making sure that we get the firewood and the wood we need. In the meantime, they will clear out this farm field. We don't need it straight away, though, because we have these two that can already start. This one will just start off as a fallow field, and then we'll continue it. So that's not really a problem. And I guess we can slowly... Well, this already has everything it needs concerning wood, so we can slowly resume the um, building queue. We have another 10,000 wood already available, so that's good. I guess all the firewood that we are creating now goes into the charcoal pits, but we need charcoal at some point as well. So yeah, that's okay. Let's just finish the slaughterhouse. We do have enough people, although we could use a few more. So that could be a thing next, but... Well, what do we need here? Just wood and nails, and we have plenty of wood now, so... We can continue a few buildings. I'll just do five now, and then we'll see where we end up. Should be enough. And then, of course, once we get back on track again with all the firewood, etc., then... We need to build a carter here and some other stuff to help get the resources from here to wherever we need them. This is the from Balaika. Do we need more iron? No, we have enough in storage. We don't need charcoal. We don't... We can buy a few nails. Or we'll just do 250. That's fine. We don't need that many. Well, we don't have anything else to sell yet. We do have enough buckwheat, we have plenty of potatoes, but I'm not yet ready to sell them. So that's not what we're going to do. Now, when we started off this uh, episode, or this game actually, I have to say, that was before the new update. And in the new update, all the houses can also produce honey. Which, in my experience, they do quite well. They produce quite a bit of honey. So, right now we are buying cabbages and carrots and onions from our villagers. But it could be a very good thing if you start buying honey as soon as you can. But yeah, I guess you have to start a new game if you want all these houses to start producing honey. Because those 
um, beekeeping boxes will be placed when you build the house. So maybe these new ones will get a few of them, but we'll have to see. Alright, so we built a cart parking. Now, I am really curious where we did that. I have to say, I don't see it straight away. It said we made a cart parking, I just don't know where. What's happening? Alright, well, I guess we'll find it soon enough. Ah, that one, perfect. Alright, let's make carts. We have firewood in store again, perfect. So, we are getting there. I guess we can unpause all of these now. And we have plenty of wood now. We have more firewood going. Not enough to get the charcoal pits burning yet. They're looking for laborers. So, we need a few more people. So, let's get those houses done. But, yeah, that's a way to do it. Because now we've fixed our problems. Alright, let's get rid of two of these. We'll just start with three so they all can use a boat. We add fish to that or this already? Yes, we did, so that's good. You have to keep checking all your granaries to make sure that everything you want is in there. I think we can get rid of the carrots and the cabbage, but I'm not totally sure, so I'm going to wait with that a little bit. Alright, we got another house, that's good. Yeah, plenty of stuff here, so that's fine. Let's hope a new family comes in, and hopefully it's a good family that can aid us a lot. Well, the farms are performing good. 13 trees left, so that's going pretty quickly. So next season we should be able to use that field. This is all looking well. Not a cart parking done. That should be... Oh, I don't know where it should be. Probably should be... Hmm. All right, where? Right here, perfect. Let's get those carts going. In our carpentry, well, it needs quite a bit of wood. Resource supply can also happen by carter, because then they can bring a lot of wood in a short amount of time. Although, I think we also need an extra carter. I want to do preemptive repairs. That means that before a cart wears out, it can already be repaired, which is actually a good thing. And I'm also thinking about, well, doing another carter here, but maybe also an extra carpenter. So that it can fix carts from here and from, a, I don't know, a, a cart parking there or whatever. Maybe we should do that cart building here. Cart shed. Could actually be a good thing. Because we might need it right here. We do have carts already, but these are operated by a man. So yeah, let's do it here. Then they can work on the farm, they can get stuff from there. So I think that's a good spot. We don't need it straight away. First we need quite a few houses, I think. Especially to get enough people to work on the land. Only nine trees left there, so that's going fast. We still have plenty of jobs available. We need seven men to do all the jobs, so that's good. Right, how does this look? 21. Well, that's a few too many. But we have a slaughterhouse right now. All we need now is people in the slaughterhouse, and then we can slaughter a few of our animals. Which would be great, because that gives us meat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the cabbage and the carrots. So to keep the onions... Let's do that all the same. And then we have to go check, or we have to put in beef in all of our granaries, because when we start to slaughter animals, we'll get beef from them. And then let's change this one into beef. And this one in flour already, because that's also a thing I want to add later on, so let's put in flour already. 
I don't know, let's say 2000, 2000, 2000. We can add a bit more because we have a lot in store. So that's a good thing, actually. Let's get it to the granaries so everything is fine. All right, we turn cabbage into beef. And they have honey here, all right. We still have honey, so we can keep that in. I think we can switch out the onions then, or we just need an extra thing. I'm not sure yet. Let, yeah, let's make that beef. Let makes this flour. That's better. Let's add some flour here as well. All right, let's add these to 2,000. They need to bring in quite a bit, but that's okay. We have a messenger. Yeah, that's all fine. I don't need more iron. We have plenty yet. So yeah, this is all good. Field's almost done, which is excellent. New family settling in town. That's a good family. Now you can see the uh, bee... Uh, I don't know what it's called. Beehives or something like that. I'll tell them to also buy honey. Right now we had to import it, but if we can buy it, that's even better. Although we can still import a bit, just to make sure that we can sell some for the variety of food. Are there people in the slaughterhouse? Yes, there are. All right. We have a two-year-old bull. We have also a one-year-old, so let's get rid of the two-year-old. We have two one-year-olds, so let's get rid of that as well. That should provide us with some beef. Everything is still growing on the farm. So that's a good thing. This is almost done. Just one log laying around now. So as soon as they pick that up, we can set up this field as well. So sometimes just take your time to solve a problem and don't forget there's a lot of options like what I did. Just pause everything you are building. You can do that, hold the shift button and then press your mouse button. There you can pause everything or just one or two buildings if you want to. That's a great thing actually. And that really helped us to, to solve our problems. I have to click well. Here we go, this should be fallow, then here we should have wheat, and here we should have buckwheat. Alright, let's put it on active, won't be used yet, but that's fine. A new family selling in town, another good family. Alright, we can now work on this farm. We are producing flour there, so we need windmills. Or we're, we are not producing flour, we are producing weed, of course, but for that we need windmills. I think we can support two, so let's build two, and of course, I think we can get another cow shed here, so we should at least try, and well, with a cow shed comes hay barracks, so let's build two of those. If we have hay barracks, we might need a few hay dryers, which we can put just right here. One, two, three, four. All right, that's good. Do have to walk for that quite far, but that's okay. They also need water. Well, that should do the trick. And this should also help us to expand, because we can build more houses here. So I'm guessing I'm going to set that up as well, because we're almost out of houses to be built. All right, let's do it like this. Let's do a three-piece. A little bit of grid building, but that's okay. I think we should also start working on our education, so let's build a primary school. Now, I don't have any... Oh, we can probably just put it here. Oh, that'll be good. Let's rotate it a little bit. Let's build a primary school right here. Let's see. Maybe it'll be filled up quickly with students. Then we might need to build an extra one, because you can only have ten students in your primary school, but at least it'll give 
our kids a chance to get educated, which is a good feature, so we might try that. Oh, we have plenty of firewood, I just need to fill it in. And it's almost harvesting season, that's very good. Alright, the cart shed is done. Let's get the carts, of course. I'm not going to add the workers yet, because right now we need every free one on the farms, because they're going to harvest. There they go. So, yeah, that's good. All free people should be hired to go on harvest. I think, yeah, church, we're not even... Close to be ready for the church. Let's do it like this. So we get houses and buildings we need. Right, we've already set up flower. This all looks good. We have honey there. Honey on this side as well. There we have also bee, firewood, potato. Fish, milk, honey, flour. Alright, this side is also selling onions. No flour. So if we switch out the onions for flour, that's better. Then we don't have to buy onions anymore. So let's get rid of that. Because everything you have to buy just costs you money. I'm not going to buy... Yeah, I'm going to buy honey. I'm going to put all the onions in this one. So let's set it up to 500. They're not buying it anymore. But at least now they can get it in there. And... This guy can sell it all, and once it's all gone, we'll remove it as well. But these are the busy ones, so I want it out of there already. I can move it from here. Alright, let's put it on take from other granaries so that they can take all the other onions. I'm not going to destroy the supply of onions, that's not worth it. Well, they are harvesting. So I guess everything runs pretty smoothly. Is it time to put workers in there already? No, yeah, not yet, not yet. First, let's get the harvest done. And right now I'm seeing that I also need to build a well for these people. Because I haven't done so. And, of course, those people also want to drink if they live in this side or on this side. So we need to build a well here as well. People do need to drink every now and then. I have to tell you that. Well, we are developing this side of the, uh, the map, which is good. We can just fill this up. I'm probably going to do an extra farm here next. So to fill out this area, and then we can start to work with our village to make the other half. Oh, I think that'll look cool. Alright, they're working here as well. That's also very good. I think it's time to slaughter another bull. Yes, we have three one-year-old bulls. So we can slaughter two. Always wait with your bulls until they turn one, because then you get the most meat out of them. Visitor from Merefa. Well, we might need some metal parts since we built a lot of carts. The rest we don't need, so that's fine. As you can see, all our granaries now hold 2,000 buckwheat, 2,000 potatoes, and they are still, we still have leftovers, so that's very good. But with the growth of our city, the extra people coming in, that also means that we need to feed more mouths. So yeah, it's it's important that we do that. Let's get the windmill going so we start to produce flour. And they completed another village house. Well, yeah, there they go. So we start to produce flour now, which we really need. We'll probably take up all the wheat we have quite quickly. So the next farm I will be building will also be containing weed. Probably. Yeah, let's take a look. I'll do it right here. No, that's not what I want. 
next farm will probably be wheat and buckwheat because those two are also what we need on a chicken coop. And I want a chicken coop because you get eggs and wheat from it. Pretty cheap. So we'll just build a farm with wheat and buckwheat. Put two chicken coops next to it. And use that all for feeding the chickens and of course the leftover wheat and buckwheat we can feed to our people. So. Yeah, that's probably what it's going to be. Alright, they're going to build the primary school. Perfect. So people can educate themselves. That's a good thing as well. Ah, they have a well here as well now, so... That people can drink. Slowly getting into autumn. You can see it by the changing in color of some trees. All the homes had a good harvest, and because they already have good amounts of food, they can do quite long with it, so that's a good thing. I really like it that people can grow their own food now. Although I think, f in my opinion, farms should have a slightly bigger output. So 2,500 units is okay, but if you consider that one person in-game consumes 100 in a year, then you can only feed 25 people out of one farm field, which is quite big, actually. I think it should be slightly higher, but that's just my opinion. But it's fine, but if you consider how many people you have to put in sometimes, feeding only 25... Eh, yeah, might not be worth it. But it's fine, of course, and it's really enjoyable, especially the whole gameplay of this game is really enjoyable. And I really like the update and everything that came with it. A really good job there. Alright, let's get people in the cart shed. Our windmills really starting to produce. Do we need to do something with supply? fine. Well, we could set it that the carter can also bring in some stuff. And it can just bring in a lot of goods. Well, we have plenty of carts. They're not all in use, but that's good. Because at least it means that we have everything we need. And here comes the primary school. Which they've actually put in quite a bit of detail in construction. I really like all the roofing done. It's really cool. Uh, for law, it's almost there. Then we can start to educate our children in town. Let's get smarter kids. Here comes the roof. Perfect. It's done. Let's get a teacher in. And yeah, there come the kids. Oh, this one just wandered around and thought, oh well, I'm not going to school. Bye. <laughs> Smart boy. There he goes again. Just wanders around the school thinking, should I go in or not? No, I won't go in. Alright, well, you can click on them and now you can see the educational progress. It will take a long time before they educate, so it's not like it's done in in a few months. Which, of course, is, is natural. I mean, in, in Holland, if you go to primary school, you go there from age 6 or 4 to age 12, and you go to middle school age 12 to age 16, 17 or 18, depending on what grade you're in, uh, and what your end degree will be. So yeah, it takes you years to get through school. So we can follow a few of these children, see how long it takes. So far there's only five children going to school, so I think one primary school for now is enough, but maybe in the end when we get bigger we need more. Let's check how many kids do we have. Well, not too many. Can't really see how many, that's one of the problems with this. There's no numbers right here, so I can't see what this means. We do have quite a few young children, but I, don't, I, I think you only go to school from age 10 or 12 in this game, so only these children go to school, which aren't that many, so... Right now it's fine, it's sufficient. 
Alright, construction complete. That's good. Ah, we got an extra mill. Let's get it spinning. I think if I want to build the extra farm, we should do it quickly. So I'm going to pause the game for a second and just build three extra fields. See how we can do with that. How we need to build them to use this space efficiently. I think what we can do... To puzzle a bit, I think. If we go from here up, make it 50 units, it's going to be something like this. Alright, let's try. So let's do it like this. Fifty units. Fifty units. All right, let's see. All right. Fifty, fifty, fifty. Then... Can I add one more? No, it's too... Yeah, that's not going to work. All right, so that's what I wanted to see. Will it fit like that? It won't as I want it to. Alright, it's gone now. Let's try a different approach. Well, we could just stop with all the housing here. So, let's just do it like this. 50. 50. Let's see. 50, 50, 50. That's one. Now, I don't think the second one... Yeah, that's not going to happen. So we might have to... Build it something like this, I think. Probably not even good enough. Too long, place is occupied. So that's an issue as well. Alright, so I have to do a little bit of puzzling. We're going to put it on speed 1, so at least something happens in the game. Because of all these slopes, it, it calculates a bit different, which can make it really hard. Alright, how long is this? 37 units. I have to measure it like this. Alright, so from here on, could... Yeah, I have to... Let's see, 50 up there. All right, so I'm going to put it right here. 50 units. Is this how I want it? I'm not sure. Let's try. 50, 50, 50. See, now we have to make it all steep. Just different shape. Because of the slope that's there. Alright, let's get a second field. Let's see how far we can get. Well, that's also a pretty decent sized field. But now we need one more. We need to put it right here. That's not so efficient, I think. So yeah, it's a bit of a puzzle, actually. I'll do it like this. All right, let's try this. First field goes like this. Place occupied. All right, so we can't build it right there. Let's do it a little bit more like this then. 50 units. 50 units. All right, this seems to work. Too long. It's not too long yet. Come on. Yeah, alright, that's the first. Let's see. We don't need anything from you, so bye bye. Let's build the uh, second field. Well, we can make this a little bit longer. Yep, yeah, 50, 50, 50. All we need now is a third field. And. Let me check something. How long can we... Yeah, alright. So, let's get rid of these two. That might probably be the best option. Make it as efficient as we can, yes. 
Alright. Then we'll do it just like this. That's okay. Let's set it up like this. So we can really make a count. Alright, three fields. Then, of course we need to build the farm that we need. So the people can start working there. Let's do it like that. Put up the farm, the first new building. Let's put it on speed three again. Because this means that we have three fully functioning fields hopefully before the next season so we can get the wheat and the buckwheat going right here as well we have room here for chicken coos so I think this is the best option and since we are going to expand our city mostly in this direction anyway we don't really need those houses except for people to live in them and work on the farm so I, I guess this is a good option right now all right, let's build two chicken coo. We can just turn it around and build another one. And they also need a well. Yeah, we can build the well right there. All right, well, I think this is good. But it's also time for us to end another episode because, well, it's been over half an hour and we did quite a few things. We solved our wood problem, we expanded, we got a few more houses. We have the extra forestry, we have this farm up and running. So yeah, we did a few things. Maybe not as much as I wanted to. Uh, oh, and we got the primary school, of course, which is really cool. So yeah, this is a good moment to end this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. I hope to reach a thousand subscribers at some point. That would be awesome. And well, everyone who has already subscribed to me, thank you very much. You're amazing. I really, really appreciate it. And of course, I hope to see you in another video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.